Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Oxygen First Breath. And wouldn't you know it, there's been another apocalypse, and this time it's cracks opening up in the Earth's crust, venting gas into the atmosphere, and reducing the levels of oxygen in the air. You know, that old chestnut. So yes, this is a post-apocalyptic settlement survival game, where the focus is very much on oxygen. So we'll need to generate oxygen so we can all breathe, because that's kind of important in not being dead. But of course we have to do all the classic survival things as well, like getting get food and build homes and scavenge resources and research new tech and all that kind of stuff. Now this is the sort of prologue version of the full game which is just going to be called Oxygen and this prologue version that we're playing now is entirely free. You get 50 days in the game and then it kind of cuts off but it's free on Steam right now as I record this. Of course if you're interested there's a link to the Steam store page in the video description below so you can go and grab this sort of prologue version of the game right now and have a little play if you'd like to. But anyway time to to get on with it I think. Let's all take a very deep breath and then go and do some post-apocalyptic surviving. So in terms of game difficulty we're going to play on normal difficulty because of course we are nice and down the middle, all very average, not too easy, not too hard. There is a setting over here which might possibly confuse a few people because it's just called crack. Now it's not the crack that you're thinking of, this is referring to the cracks in the ground from where the terrible gases are leaking out which is poisoning the atmosphere. So it doesn't mean that kind of crack, it means the amount of cracks in the ground that are going to cause us problems. And then up here it kind of tells us to name our profile but I've taken that as a kind of a de facto name of our settlement if you like. So we're going to call our little place Cabordia because that makes sense as well. So here we go, I think we're ready to dive in. Okay so here we go and I can very happily confirm that space bar is pause which is wonderful stuff well done game good job right let's take a quick look around the map shall we so right in the middle of the screen here we have a very futuristic looking building indeed that looks a lot cleaner and shinier than some of the buildings around it like that one there looks a little bit kind of broken over here that building looks a little bit worse for there that one needs a good clean so that building here is our fancy new futuristic oxygen center so of course we have to keep that up and running we have to make sure it's always working because that's going to provide us with lovely air to breathe. So that's a very important building indeed. And then at the front of that building, we have all of our people just kind of, you know, hanging around the place. They do have oxygen tanks on their back. So while they're out and about, they can breathe, but only through their oxygen tanks. But they do need to top up their oxygen, and they do that in homes. So of course we can see lots of I haven't got a house symbols above their head. So we will need to get some homes built pretty urgently because if they don't have homes and they can't go to a building where the oxygen supply is switched on, they're going to obviously suffocate and die, which would be bad. So we'll try and get some homes done. And then over there we have a kind of little storage shed type thing that's got quite a lot in it by the look of it. It's about what, two thirds full-ish? Got some stewed fish, got some french fries in there, very nice. Canned fish and fish and tomatoes and potatoes and all that kind of stuff. Got some water and then we've got all the stuff that we need to do building. So we have got quite a decent supply of things to begin with. And then around the map, it all looks very post-apocalyptic. Look at that, we've got kind of collapsed buildings. And when you hover over the buildings and the items around the place, like there's a bus and a car and such like, you can see what you get out of it if you go to scavenge it. So that kind of building there, we get some Kevlar, we get some bricks and we get some gears. There's a, there's a helicopter there. We get a lot of gears from a sort of a crashed helicopter. There's some buses. There's what sort of a old building over there, that kind of stuff. Lovely stretch of beach. There's a tank. Okay, we get a lot of planks from the tank over there. Nice bit of beach. There's a massive boat over there. Wow, there's like a sort of container freighter type thing. Kevlar metal planks, gears out of that. So we can go scavenging all these things. There's a plane. There's a plane there. It doesn't look like that plane has crashed. That's an intact plane. Somebody just kind of you know, parked their plane up over here and then left it for the apocalypse to happen. Okay, that's fine. So we've got a plane as well. So plenty of stuff that we can go around and scavenge as well. And then, of course, we have these things. So these things are the cracks in the earth where the gas is escaping and causing problems. So I think that one is due to explode. In 0.6 days time, that's going to explode. And if anybody's nearby when it does, they're gonna get hurt. And then also that's going to make life a bit difficult around here with the whole breathing thing because that's going to vent out terrible gases and it's going to reduce the oxygen, I believe. That one, I think, what's that doing? That's going to disappear in three and a half days. So we can't do anything over here, 
but that's going to eventually sort of heal up, but more cracks will appear at random around the place. We can use those. We can use those if we research the right thing. We can put, not when it's going to explode, but when it's like that, we can drop a kind of gas collector thing on top of them, and then we can you know, generate energy and such like. But most of our other energy is coming from coal, and we have to research proper, sort of more efficient, clean ways of generating energy. So, okay, let's get building, shall we? I think, first up, we need some homes, or else people are going to eventually suffocate. So let's get building. Hang on, it says new task down there. What's our task? Uh, let's start with the basic needs. Oh yeah, water, food, and houses. Yeah, I was going to kind of do that anyway, but okay. So the reward for completing that is some metal, some stone, and five confidence points. That is, hang on, if we accept that, that's a thing over here where we have to keep our people happy. So in 35.6 days time, if we haven't got five levels of happiness in here, we kind of, I don't know, get ousted from power or whatever. I don't know. The people get very grumpy with us and they give us some very stern looks and frowns and they tut at us or something. I don't know. But here we go. Let's get building some stuff. So, I mean, it's kind of helping us over here, but we can sort of work it out. So container houses, they're the basic level of housing. Then we need to put a fishing dock, then a water purifier, and then a canteen. Okay, let's get, I would say, food in first. Food and water, I would say, are quite important. And then we'll get houses where they can go and sort their oxygen out. But I think they should be okay for now. So here we go. Go down to building. And there's quite a lot to research. There is a fairly lengthy research tree. All of these things here can be unlocked via research. We do want to get a research centre in at some point. Maybe not right now, but at some point we do need to. Also, how are we looking for energy? So right now, we have 1,000 coal in storage. So that thing over there, the oxygen centre, is burning coal right now. What we could do with maybe getting some better solutions in the long run. But right now, let's get the basics in. So food, here we go, fishing dock. So we have got a very convenient sort of pool over here. Can't see any fish in it, but do you know what? That's fine. So I think, yeah, the pointy arrows are where people need to be able to get to. So I think the pointy arrows can go there. So we'll have a fishing dock just there. And they build like a massive kind of scaffoldy thing around it. And then the water purifier can also go next to it. So that's going to be there. So I think that should be able to fit in. So if we kind of just put that right next to the fishing dock, that should be okay. I didn't mean for that to happen. Hang on a minute. Let's go back to there we go. Water purifier. Um, yeah. So let's make sure that's kind of at the front like that. That'll do. Hopefully they're sort of level. So that can be sort of, yeah, a bit of food and a bit of water sorted out. And then, yes, container houses. Now, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, we sort of build over here. I don't want to build near the explodey crack thingamajig, because that will be bad. So how about we build over here, and we'll have a kind of street. Can we build roads? Can we build as decoratives? Um, okay, can we build roads, however? I don't think we can. Or if we can, we need to unlock them, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. So right now, let's build a little street going down here. So I don't know how many people can can live in a house. It says we need five houses. So, okay, how about then if we back the houses like that? So then that car's getting in the way a bit, but we'll do that, look. So you can all look out over that tree, is what I'm thinking. Because trees are also important in this game. They do actually help out a little bit. You have to look after the trees. So there's one. Um, hang on. So can't build it. Can't build it there. So like that. So we'll have, hang on a minute. Can we just put it next to the other one? Like that. Two. And we'll have three. And then we'll have, uh, hang on a minute, four. And then we'll have to put one all the way over here. But that's okay. That's fine. So pop that all the way down there. And we can have a little road. That'll be quite nice. So let's unpause time using the spacebar. And hopefully people should spring into action. If they're not assigned jobs and then building stuff appears, they go and do that. They all become builders until we tell them to do something else. So right now, we need to get the basics in. So let's get time ticking on a bit. That is going to explode in half a day's time-ish. So some of them are working on food, some are working on water. However, look, it's coming in. It's looking okay. The fishing dock is looking good. Got some houses underway. Let's put time onto super quick. Hopefully we should all get this sorted. And then we might go and do a spot of scavenging just to get some kind of basics done. Right, there we go. So 
These are complete. Let's pause time for a second. So there's the fishing dock. Can't zoom in anymore, unfortunately. Another tiny level of zoom would be lovely, just so we can see some of the finer details around the place. So fishing dock, we now need to tell people to work in here. So yes, please. Can we please have a person working in the fishing dock? We've only got 14 people and two children. The children are over here just kind of hanging out right now. They're in yellow. So we'll have one person doing a spot of fishing. So Bridget, Bridget's going to go and do some fishing. Okay, so we've got Bridget, the fishing person. And then over here in the water purifier, we shall have Artair, the water purifying person. So two jobs already assigned. Let's make sure that these get complete. And look at that. They've gone over and they're already purifying water and doing a spot of fishing. And I think the houses are almost done. And there we go. The houses are complete. And they're just little, they are containers. They just look like container houses. But to make them a tiny bit more dramatic, they have put a little sort of bit on the top, like a sort of, you know, a loft extension type thing. And they've got awnings and such like. So there we go. Hopefully everybody should have somewhere to live because how many people can live in a house? So four people in maximum can live in a house. So hang on, what's that? That's 20. So we've got four, eight, hang on, massive page, four, eight, 12, 16, 20. So you've actually got a spare house. That's quite good. So when people do migrate in, we can, you know, go and sort out a house for them and they'll have one already, which is wonderful. And if we look over here, we can see that oxygen is pumping into those houses, which is a good thing because, you know, they want to go home and be able to breathe. That's quite nice. But it does mean we're burning through more coal. So we have to try and keep that in mind because now we're generating more sort of oxygen, which requires more power. And then over here, the sort of operational work buildings, they're not generating oxygen by default. That's switched off. So the houses, I don't think you can turn it off. No, it's always on. Um, but over here, you can choose to turn these on and off. And of course, the more buildings we have provided with oxygen, the more sort of power we need. So I think right now, we'll switch oxygen on in the water purifier. I don't quite know how switching oxygen on on the fishing dock would work because there's quite a lot of open sides. But okay, we'll switch that on. And we can see it's using a little bit of power. So we've just used up another four power there. But I think that's quite important. Um, and then it's, it's telling us to get a canteen. However, I think also we need to get in wherever it might. Technology, there we go, a research centre. We have to get one of these in sooner rather than later because it's going to help us unlock new things. So I wonder, where can we put this? Can we put this maybe over here, look? Maybe we'll put that just by those rocks. That's quite nice, look. So we'll pop that there. We need one of those because that generates research points and then we can unlock new exciting things. Um, how long? 0.2 days until that's going to go boom. And then, yeah, we could, if we get the research center in and actually unlock the right things, we could harness the power of that. We could actually use this terrible gas to our advantage. However, we also need to build a canteen to complete that goal. That's going to be over here. So what does that do? Each visit, uh, visit to the canteen brings plus one point to the settler's social life. Well, that sounds quite nice. Well, how about then? How about we have that? Uh, hang on a minute. How, how do we rotate it again? How, was it scroll wheel? Was it R? Ah, okay, yeah. So how about we put it next to the tree? So you can sit there and you can have a lovely meal in the canteen and you can look out over the tree. That's quite nice. So yeah, we'll put that there, I think. And then we'll just do some scavenging of things that are in the way. So we go to here, so we can pick up some metal from there. So we can say, okay, two people can go and scavenge that, please. And could we clear that out of the way as well so we can have some more houses? So we'll go and get some... Um, metal planks out of that as well um yeah okay so metal out of that metal planks metal sheets possibly i don't know there we go so we've got ackman and mckinley on that and we've got erdal and elisa on that okay right so in pause time everybody will spring into action they're just whacking the building with a good old stick they're just whacking that car with sticks or whatever and the others are working on our buildings so does anybody need to work in the canteen do we need an employee? Ah, there we go. We've completed the thing. We get lots of lovely smiley points. It's all good. Right, does anybody? Yes, somebody needs to work in there. So, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll you know, have somebody work in the canteen and we will switch the oxygen on in the canteen because otherwise 
I can't see how that's going to work. If you go to the canteen for a lovely bit of food and you're having to wear a mask and an oxygen kind of backpack thing to provide you with air so you don't die, I don't quite see how you could eat anything or drink anything because you'll have a mask on. So we'll switch the air on and then over here, research centre, just hit that with enough hammers. Yeah, that's going up very quickly. Look at that flying up. Uh, we'll have... How many people have we got left? Uh, we've got one, two, three... Hang on, four people there. So they're scavenging. Four, five, six, seven... Seven people assigned. So, okay. We will put one person in the research centre for now. Tyler can very slowly but very surely generate research points. So one cycle of that generates five research points. Okay. Right, that will hang on. And we'll switch the air on. Let's switch the air on. That's got to be a good thing. Okay, and on pause time. That would also help. Oh, it's got a spinny thing. It's got a slightly superfluous spinny thing on the top. Okay, right. That's good. I like that. So it's all looking pretty good. We're now just kind of standing around again. I was kind of thinking that maybe another task would pop up. But no, it hasn't. Okay, what else can we build then? So housing, we've built you know a good amount of. I think that's fine. Food, we're okay. Resources. I mean, another storage shed thing wouldn't go amiss. That We have to plead to that a bit, but it's still, you know, half full. So I think maybe get another one of those, possibly over here. Maybe. Hang on. Could we back that onto that house at the end, maybe? Could we sort of pop that there, just so we have an alternative place to store some stuff? That could be quite useful. And then what else do we have? Workshops. Can't build those. Tech. We have got a submarine dock. Because, you know, we can build things out of, you know, metal. We can build little homes that look like containers. And, um, you know, we can build a sort of a cupboardy storage thing. And we can also build a place where submarines can access. Um, so if we do build one of those, people can just turn up. People can arrive. And that's how we get some new people on board. Another way is to build a kind of big, yeah, that thing. A signal tower. Um, community. A medical post. That might also help quite a bit. I think maybe... When that's gone, we will get... Hang on, can we build the... Oh, the medical post looks tiny. Uh, hang on, hang on. Can we put it next to... Oh, we can't put it next to the tree. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Um, ah, that thing has exploded. Okay, good. Well done, explodey thing. We have got room in front of here, look. We have got room in front of here. Let's build a medical post. I kind of feel like we're going to need one of those sooner rather than later. So, let's get that in next to... The cafe, whatever it is, the little canteen. So if you have some bad food in there, you can nip next door and get treated. Okay, right, so tick time on again. But I think as well, we do... Oh, hang on, new task. Yep, hang on a second. Um, I think as well, we do need the submarine dock, but we need more metal now. We've used up our metal, which is what we're getting from that. Just regular metal. Okay, so let's run time on a bit. Just try and get some more resources in. What is the task? Okay, so we need a gas extractor. Five day deadline. We do get 100 coal for that, which is going to be very handy. Um, however, research center. I was going to say, it's not generated anything, but it has. Five things. Okay, event log. Is that telling us that ah, the medical post is complete? Okay, let's employ a person to be a medic. We've got Brantley the medic. Hello, Brantley. So hopefully, hopefully you can try and keep people alive. Uh, so in terms of research, what do we need? That is the gas extractor. We need 15 of those. Okay, right, so we're not quite there yet. We've got five. How? Oh, there's another crack opened up over there. So they can open up at random. So how many people have we actually got assigned? I think that's it there. So five people left. I think to hurry up research, it might be worth having two people. So Tyler and Tulu. That's quite nice. That's lovely and alliterative. So those two can go in there. And they can start doing some research. Everybody else just kind of hanging around outside because they haven't got jobs to do. Uh, I mean, is it worth scavenging more things? Well, hang on. We could build the submarine dock. We couldn't build the submarine dock because we still don't have the resources. How much metal have we got? 30. Good grief. Oh, a crack's opened up over there. Right, researchy people. We really do need the fancy tech to cover these things up to make the most of them. Because we are burning through our coal. We're not producing any energy at all. And we're using it all up. Um, also, it's getting a bit cold. 
because yeah, you start in early winter, which is unusual for a survival game, because normally you, you start in the spring and you get to plant crops and then they grow and then you've got food to survive your winter. But now in this, it just starts in winter. So snowy couple of days coming up, that's okay. Right, 15 points. We shall get the gas extractor. Thank you very much. Oh, what's all this? A playground, a tailor, a cafe. Oh yes, I want a cafe, please. Um, however, let's get that first. Yes, please, I'd love to unlock the magical thingamajig. Um, gas extractor, 30 gears, 25, whatever that is. What's that? Plastic. Okay, so we've got, yeah, an okay amount of these. So I think, uh, oh no, we have to build it on the active ones. Oh, I thought we built it on the kind of extinguished ones, but no, we have to build it on the active ones. Um, okay, well, let's build that one there then, because that is due, 2.1 days that's going to explode. But I think we can get this on it right now. So here we go, just hit that with enough hammers, get that set up. It wants us to build two of these. Hang on a second, hang on. We'll go and set the one up over here as well. Even if it is a little bit far away, that's okay. Right, so run time on. We want to get that done before it explodes, however, because that would be bad. And there we go. Now we've got 20.8 days of that spinning around and we're generating power. We're generating all of six power, okay. <laughs> and we're using quite a lot. Why are we using... 230 something power oh no that's just a cumulative total okay that's all right that's fine right so if we get that sorted that might help out a bit as well we are still burning through coal quite quickly so i think in here somewhere there was a coal mine. there coal mine we need 30 science points to get that done and then we can get coal from over there somewhere there a coal deposit we can build on that to get coal and then we can you know, top up that amount. Because yeah, we're not, we've got six per hour from gas energy and we're burning through energy very quickly. Oh no, hang on, it's producing more though. That's a cumulative total. I want to see the actual balance. Um, okay, it kind of ticks up. It sort of ticks up a bit. Is it stable? I don't know if it's entirely stable, but okay. And then we have to produce and gather coal. But yeah, so we need some more points to do that. I don't think... Yeah, you can't just go and grab coal. You have to build a quarry on the piles of coal. Is there coal in a building? Can we grab coal from some sort of building? I mean, hang on, hang on. There's like a train yard thing over there. Have we got any ye olde trains? No, we haven't because it isn't the 19th century and the trains don't run on coal anymore, Penge. Okay, now that's fine. We can't get coal from that. Hang on. There's 3,300 coal in that building. Um... Yes, I think we'll have some of that, thank you very much. We've got 45 metal as well. Okay, so hang on a second. What we'll do is, let's get the submarine base thing set up, because with that done, we can then get more people in, because we're going to need more people to do more jobs around the place. So if we could just get five more of that in, and also five more research points as well. Come on, come on, we can do this. Hang on, hang on. We need to get the research points in first, I think. So we can see what we need to build a coal mine. Because if we need loads of metal, we don't want to use it all up on, um, on yeah, sort of building a submarine dock type thing. So if you two could hurry along, that would be great. That would be wonderful. We have got the 30 points. So, yes, we'll have a coal mine. Thank you so much. So what do we need to build a coal mine? Where would that be? Resources. Um, we need, ah, 45 metal and 20... Whatever those bubbly things are. Stone! Okay, right. So we can build one of those and we're going to need one very urgently. So put that down, please. Get that built as soon as you can. There is another crack thing over there. Can we build on that? Uh, hang on, where was... Which one was that again? Uh, it was technology. Yeah, we can do that as well. Just to help out a bit. So let's, you know, let's harness the power of these things whilst we can. Bear in mind, we only have 50 days in game as it is. We're already on day four. So we'll try and harness the power of those and we'll get the coal mine done as well. It looks like we're building. Yeah, there we go. Absolutely flying up. That's going to be complete very soon. And then, yeah, then we can grab some coal. That's, yeah, energy is looking very low. We need this done really, really soon. <laughs> Do this quicker. Do this quicker. Right. And then can we have a number of people in here, please? How about... 
four people. Oh, hang on. That leaves nobody around. We'll leave one person. One person can go and do building. Three people can provide us with lovely, lovely coal. Okay, yes. We're picking up coal. Look, okay, right. That might just about keep us going. Um, okay, hang on. If we gather enough coal, we're going to be given a big pile of metal. And we get some coal as well. Okay, that could be handy. There we go. Phew. Right, that's going to keep us ticking over for a bit. New task. Let's put a submarine dock. Yes, that was kind of the plan. Okay, accept that, please. Um, right, submarine dock. Uh, yeah, naught out of one. So we need to build one submarine dock, but we need quite the supply of metal. And we don't really have the supply of metal right now. How many metal planks do we have? 65. Okay, so if we... I want to get that out of the way. What's that? Oh, metal deposit. Ah, we can put a metal processing thing over there and produce metal. Okay, that's quite good. I noticed that I'm effective in the game on the fastest game speed it can go. And yeah, we're still sort of waiting for stuff to happen. So yeah, it's, it's a slow but patient game, but that's okay. I do like the amount of things around the place. Like over there, there's 3,000 coal in there. So I think really, hang on, you two... Don't get anything from over there anymore. Could you also help with... Uh, oh, it's bought many things. Ah, here we go. Yeah, coal. So can two people, Samuel and Ackman, go and grab coal from in the metro station just to make sure that we're generating enough power? Because I'm concerned that we're not. And I think now we can build the submarine dock. Okay. Um, okay, I was going to say, where does it need to go? But obviously on the river's edge, I would have thought. Um, how about we put it... On that side of the river, on that side of the river, the bridge, I meant. That side of the bridge, not the river. This side of the river would be ideal, wouldn't it? Um, let's put it, I don't know, there. That'll do. That looks like a good spot for it. Wonderful. I like how it is a submarine, because if it was some sort of boat, it would have definite problems in getting to us. But there we go. Right, so we've got that in. Hopefully I can construct that. It is a bit weird that people are going to arrive by submarine. I mean, in the apocalypse, how many people are going to be floating around in a submarine thinking, gosh, I wish I could live, you know, over you know, on the land where there isn't any oxygen. That would be fun, wouldn't it? But never mind, there we go. That's what people want. So, yeah, we want to build a submarine dock and produce or gather plastic. Okay, so we need to gather some plastic. Is there plastic in there? Yes, there is. Okay, so I think you two have just finished a round of gathering that. So... You two stop that, please. And we'll go over here and we'll get two more people gathering plastic from over there. So that should help us. We need to sort of, you know, refocus our gathering options just to make sure that we're actually doing the right thing. And now we have one poor builder, <laughs> one poor person who on their own has to build an entire submarine dock. So Elisa, the adult, I hope you're very, very good at building submarine docks. Yeah, you've got you've got your blueprint, like your Lego instructions. There is yeah, how to build my first submarine dock. Here we go. Do you know what? You're doing a grand job. I wouldn't know where to begin. I wouldn't even know how to put the door on. So there we go. Oh, you've cleared off. Oh, okay. Oh, you've come back. Hooray! Maybe he's went to the loo or something. It's fine. And now you've cleared off again. Could you come back and just finish the job? <laughs> the tiny bit of hitting with a the hammer. There we go. Right, so there is no upcoming submarine okay which is no grand surprise i think is that slowly moving around there might be a little kind of blue bar that's slowly moving about so maybe in time a submarine is going to pop by for whatever reason and say hello and then we can get some more people into the settlement but i notice we have now got three kids which is quite good and there we go we've gathered plastic we get some stuff metal and plastic and gears and people are a bit happier which is wonderful how are we looking over here? So yeah, we've got no votes of confidence in, or no points in the amount of people we've got. Population, imagine that's natural. Yeah, there you go. Plus five points from newborn babies. Um, exploration, we've not done any of that. Buildings, okay. They want some more points from more buildings. Task performance, okay, we're working on that. And then tree because you can assign people to tree, and then each person assigned to tree makes everybody happy. So at some point, we will try and do that. Could we build on there? Could we get another gas thingamajigger? I think we can. Let's pop it there, please. 
because they're really useful. Just a free, steady supply of energy. Very helpful indeed. Um, okay, right, so now we're just going to hang around for a bit, do we? Just sort of hang around for some more people to turn up. Yeah, look, that in 2.8 days' time, somebody's going to pop by. That's going to be quite nice. What is that? That is flashing on and off. Oh, no. Oh, no! Right. There's a crack over there near one of our buildings. I think if that crack explodes, that building's going to take damage. Can we put another thing on there? We haven't got enough gears. Okay, also... We're running out of water a bit there. Okay, hang on a minute, hang on. <laughs> Maybe right now we don't need a medic. Get rid of the medic and put a person over there into the water purifier. That would be wonderful. And also, let's drop a person from the research centre and put somebody else into the water purifier because that's going to be useful. Right, new task, here we go. Um, let's build a decoration. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, how complete is that thing? They've got not long left to complete that gas extractor before that thing's going to go boom. Uh, let's build a decoration. I kind of feel like that's maybe not the most important thing in the world, given that we're running out of water, but okay, let's build a shiny thing. Um, is this going to explode? You've not got long left. You've got zero days. It's almost done. Is it going to explode? Are they going to but Okay. <laughs> right. It did explode. They were so close to it being complete, and they died. Okay, right, so we're now down even more people, which doesn't help. That's going to explode, which is unfortunate. Um, okay, hang on. We need to gather some metal, and we need to build a star. Okay, <laughs> why would we build a star? Low energy, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Um, the game is over if it stops. You need to keep it running. Uh, okay, game. Okay. <laughs> game, this is this is a stressful game. Right. Hang on a second. Hang on. The gatherers. Everybody stop gathering what you're gathering. Can we focus on getting that constructed? Can we build another one of those? Right, we need some gears. Got enough plastic. We need some gears. So I think, yeah, if we can make use of that, that would be handy. But also, we do need to get some more coal. So can we? Where are gears? There's gears over there. Have we got nearer gears? Stone over there. That's plastic. Planks. That's just stone. Ah, gears. Okay, so can we have somebody over there grabbing some gears? So how many do we need? How many gears? We've only got five gears. Okay, that's going to take a long time to get the 25 that we might need. Okay, do you know what? Everybody focus on gathering coal. Do not bother with the gears. You can go over there and also grab some coal, please. So McKinley, Ackman, Samuel and Erdal, can you please grab coal as quick as you can? Really, really quickly. We need some more coal as a matter of urgency because otherwise we're going to run out of energy and that would be bad. So here we go. They're slowly but surely topping up the coal from in here and putting it into there. So that should be okay. Um, oh, there's another crack over there. That one possibly might damage the submarine bay thing. Hopefully it won't, or hopefully the submarine can arrive beforehand. But, um, okay, so really, we just need to kind of cling on a bit until we get to the submarine arriving. We'll see what happens when that thing explodes and whether it damages that building. But, um, but yeah, we've got, what, 1.2 days until a submarine arrives. Okay, let's just sort of sit back and wait for that thing to rock up and we'll see what happens with a friendly submarine. Oh, hang on, we have a new task. Okay, what is that one? Let's get ready for the winds. Okay, it does say that it's going to get a bit windy. What do we need to do? We get some fish and some metal and some plastic and some water. That could be helpful. And three confidence points. Okay, how do we get ready for the wind? Okay, so unlock coal mine. Build coal mine. Okay, done that. Produce or gather coal and build a medical post. Okay, so wind is coming in 2.8 days. Right, so wind is bad because, ah, maybe the winds are full of, like, horrible toxic clouds and things. Okay, prepare for the winds. Hooray, we've prepared for the winds. <laughs> Good. Can it make this submarine arrive any quicker? See, I would guess then, the, yeah, the winds are going to be full of horrible toxic stuff, aren't they? So they're going to just sort of blow around here and it's going to make life even more miserable and sad. Okay, right, that's fine. We can cope with that. 
And as predicted, <laughs> the submarine dock has exploded. Not too long before a submarine was going to arrive because that thing also exploded. This is, this is very unfortunate. We could have built that anywhere. We could have built it here or here or here, but no, we built it there and the thing above appeared right next to it. And because we didn't get that thing above completed in time, we couldn't build on top of that one. Okay, that can be repaired in four days time. <laughs> This is going very well, isn't it? Right, we're just clinging on to energy. What I think we could do, what we could do is, over here on the fishing dock, maybe we could turn off the oxygen generator, but of course, we're not gonna suffocate them. If it's off, workers consume oxygen tanks, they go home for oxygen tank refilling when their oxygen tanks are empty. So yeah, I think we just save a little bit of power there and a little bit of power with the water purifier. Maybe over in the research center, we keep that ticking over. We have got a lot of research points. We have got a lot of these. Um, I mean, yeah, that's a cafe for 140. Taylor for 100. 240 research points for a playground. The signal tower, that could be quite handy. That means that people come and join us, not via a submarine. Uh, metal processing, that's essentially like a metal mine. We've got metal works. They can make planks out of it. That is a water turbine. Okay, that could be handy. It's very expensive to build. Plant house, we can grow food or a shelter. Is a medium-sized living space. I think maybe for now, we save up for the signal tower because we desperately need more people. And because our submarine dock exploded mere hours, I would say, before a submarine was due to arrive, then, um, yeah, we're not going to get any more people in. And, of course, we're down a person anyway because they got blew up over there from an explosion from a crack out the ground. So it's a little bit of a problem. We have got four kids hanging around. I mean, kids, could you man the cafe? Could you go and sit in the canteen and just you know, serve some food or something? That'd be helpful. Uh, let's put some more gas extractors to generate and store more energy. OK, we have got quite a lot of them. Three out of five. Um... That's going to explode. Boom, there we go. That one's going to explode in one day, 0.9 days. Okay, that's going to be tricky. That's going to be really tricky. We're not going to meet these goals. These goals are not going to be met because they're quite hard to do. We need to gather a load of metal, but we need to... I mean, that's on 228. Maybe could we take a person out of gathering coal and put them onto gathering metal? In fact, you know what? Take two out and put two back in. We're going to have to juggle our resources a little bit there. Water is ticking up, so we're producing 24 and we're consuming 15. Maybe drop somebody out the water purifier and put them on gathering metal from there. So then we can gather enough metal to make a star so we can get given some lovely shiny things. And then with the shiny things, we can build some gas extractor hujimawatsis and then we can complete the other goal. I think that's what we might have to do. And energy is actually going up because we've turned off these buildings. So they're going to have to go home and restock with an oxygen tank, kind of refill thing, which is okay. And they're only in kind of rubbishy homes, so it takes a longer time for them to do that. But still, that's actually going up. We're producing more energy than we are consuming. Okay, right, that's looking good. Um, what do we need to build a star? So decoration, a star. It's 25, uh, what's that, 25 metal and 30 plastic. A decorative yellow star. Uh, oh, it's massive. Okay. <laughs> this is a bit weird. Okay, we'll just put, hang on. Can we put the lovely star in that gap? We can put the star in the gap next to the tree. Do you know what? Let's, let's pop a star. This is a bit weird. Pop a star just there. Um, that might not be entirely in line, but that's okay. That will do. So we've gathered metal. So now we need to build the star. So I think we can stop gathering metal. Um, what else would be useful? Hang on. What do we need to build that thing? So we've got 30 metal, 50 plastic, and 70 metal sheets. So 70 sheets, 50 plastic, 30 metal. We've got metal, got sheets, got plastic. We should be able to, when we get those research points, build ourselves a tower thingamajig. It should be okay. Oh, and it's windy. Ah, I see. Right, so everything's gone all grim and horrible because there's wind. 
Okay, right, so the wind is going to end in 1.8 days. Oh, and it's, yeah, okay, right. It's really grim. It's not nice at all. Nobody wants to be out in this. It's very, very unpleasant indeed. Could we build on top of that? No, we haven't got enough gears. Okay, can we please get some gears? I can't see anything. <laughs> Where can we get gears from that isn't a million miles away? Um, the plane will have gears, but that's a little bit distant. Um, okay, we've got three people scavenging. So let's not do metal. We'll keep coal ticking up. Right, then we need some gears from over here, please. So yeah, we'll have two people gathering some gears. And can we please work on the star? Yeah, somebody is actually. Somebody's hitting it. There we go, it's almost done. Um, oh, botherations. <laughs> We've lost five confidence points. Are oh, we nearly built the star? We are missing the deadlines by just the tiniest of margins. We're just falling ever so short by a few hours here and there. That was almost complete. The submarine had almost arrived and they'd almost completed the thing over here which exploded. We're, we're, we're being a little bit unlucky with this, I would say. Um, okay, our tear is staring at the star, but we have lost a little bit of confidence. And in 23 and a half days, we're going to get judged. That's got to be up to five. And we're currently on two. I think we might be able to muddle through, but now we need to build two gas extractors. We have got a long time to do that, but yeah, we need more gears. Um, okay, right, let's run time on, and we'll see if we can just grab enough gears to build another one of these. We need 30 gears, and we've got five. Oh, crikey. Okay, okay, fine. We're going to have to be very patient. However, we can get the signal tower unlocked. So back down to no research points. Oh, no, we've got some sick people. Uh, <laughs> what do we do here exactly? What do we do here? Um, I mean, do we take somebody out of... Uh, we've got two people in the coal mine. We're going to need that. One person in the water purifier. How are we looking for food? How are we looking for lovely food? We've got quite a good amount of food. So how about we take you out of the fishing dock and we put somebody into the medical post because people are now ill and they need to get better. So hopefully Dr... Our tear can make people nice and healthy again. That would be wonderful. This isn't going entirely according to plan. Five people are now hospitalised. <laughs> Everything is fine. It's all fine. Low energy. Oh, no. Right. Hopefully, they can all run back in and start powering that thing up again. Because, of course, if that goes out, then it's all over. Four people are now sick. Okay, hang on. We've got a decent amount of water. Let's make sure... We've got enough people to go and work in other places. Oh, no. <laughs> How have we got the people working in the coal mine? I think maybe it's our gatherers that are a bit ill. The wind is going to end in 0.7 days. The wind has caused us some potential issues. Only one person is sick. But yeah, five people are hospitalised. Hang on, does it tell us? Oh! Oh! I see a problem here. Erdal, Elisa, Seibel and Harrison have died of illness. Oh, okay. Um, became sick due to low oxygen. Uh, oh, okay. That's just because of the just because of the general winds. So yeah, what do the winds do? Winds double the energy consumption, bring toxic gases, and reduce the oxygen level, so people may get sick. People have got so sick that they've died. We've lost four people. <laughs> However, somebody did grow up. They're now ready to work. Okay. Uh, I mean, everybody is ill. Loads of people are ill. And lots of people are hospitalised. I don't see this particularly carrying on very much longer. It does have sort of a frost punk kind of vibes to it. We'll get time ticking on slowly. That's going to come down, isn't it? It does have a frost punky sort of feel to it. Where you have to keep this thing ticking over. So you're sort of your town centre. So frost punk, it was the thing that generates heat. This thing generates oxygen. And then you have to kind of work around it. We haven't had sort of events popping up. I imagine that's part of the plan for the final game, but we haven't had kind of events popping up saying, oh, crikey, this needs to happen, that needs to happen. But, um, yeah, I, I think it's got sort of a frost punk sort of feel to it. Um, hang on a minute. We need some people in here. However many people we've got left, just get three people in the coal mine, go deep under the ground where the wind isn't going to bother you because we do need some coal to power this thing back up. We need some help. Oh, and we can repair that. Wonderful. Repair the building. <laughs> Excellent. 
Okay, the submarine dock can come back to life and something else can blow it up again, unless the game's ended by then. Um, okay, right. Energy is critical. Uh, yeah, we're consuming a lot of it because, of course, the winds are here. Okay, do you know what? We're just going to have to speed time on. This is not going to go well, is it? We're clinging on, I would say. We're clinging on. I mean... It might well be game over very soon. What can we actually unlock? Watch all these things as well. So yeah, they kind of develop, I think. So you get the fancy housing. So you get that. That would be a shelter. Oh, I can't sort of roll over to the left, but then you get extra bits. So then you get a duplex and then an apartment. So the apartment's like the fanciest type of building. Um, the fancy type of home, sorry. And then yeah, it's better for the people to live in. It's got a better sort of uh, size. And I imagine it's quicker to fill their oxygen tanks and all that kind of stuff. Over here... It looks like a variety of sort of farmy type things. So a plant house, a kitchen and tomato seeds. The gas extractor's done. Next up is a water turbine. Then a solar panel. So again, clean ways to make power. Um, then we get, what's next? Signal tower. Canning station. Okay. So canned fish production by using metal planks and fish. Okay, so you make sort of canned fish. That's quite good. And then onto a radar. I think there are missions in this. So you can send people out on missions. And then we've got metal processing and a quarry for stone. And down there, metalworks, gear workshop, Kevlar workshop. And ah, those things aren't available in this version of the game. But yeah, there's going to be future things over here as well. Okay, I just thought we'd check that out before the game inevitably ends because we haven't got enough energy. <laughs> because it's looking a bit bad, I would say. How many gears have we got? Five, because we haven't got any people left. We've got no people. <laughs> Oh dear. Have we got anybody alive? We must have some people around the place. I think we've got... Hang on, there's a scientist. We don't need the scientist. Can we possibly put somebody into the medical post to get those people better? So, person who is doing science, uh, Tulu, forget the science. Go and do some keeping people alive. Go and do some medical science. Although, possibly, is it better... Hang on a minute. Is it better that they go and get... Hang on. Maybe don't do medical science. Go and get some coal. Get us some coal, please. That's going to be more important. Because if this goes down to zero, then it's all over. Okay. It's not looking good, is it? It's not looking good. However, the wind is going to end in 0.3 days. Which will sort out our energy consumption. That'll bring it back down to normal levels. But are we going to last that long? It's very close. It's very close. We're doing our best to top it up. Somebody's popped... There's two people looking at the... Tulu and Artair are staring at the star. I get that you love the art. It's love. Look at it. It's a, it's a pointy star. It's very beautiful. It's got lighty bits on the end. It's a beautiful thing. It's very nice. But right now, in a time of crisis, when we have deadly toxic winds blasting across your little uh, little tiny settlement, maybe admiring some modern art is not the top of your list of things to do. Maybe, you know, going to get some coal, making sure that people don't die of illness over in the hospital thing. Maybe that should be more important. Are we going to survive? We just need the wind to go away. If that wind goes away, we can start topping up our energy and then we'll see what we can do. It's getting terribly... Like, the wind has to end pretty much now, please. Oh, it's... It's going to be over. It's going to be over. Low energy too. Oh. I think we just, I think, talking about near misses with the whole things exploding and everything else, I think we just scraped through there. But is it going to deplete on the next cycle round? Possibly. Hang on. Turn off all generators. Turn off everything and we'll see what power we can save. Oh no. Now Bridget's ill. Bridget who was in the mine. Oh no. <laughs> this is very bad. I think... I think the initial problem that's led to all this was not getting the submarine thing in. Because if we'd have had that in, a submarine could have landed here or pulled up or whatever, parked, and we could have got some more people. More people means more resources coming in because there's more hands doing more work. But I think, yeah, that crack thing appearing next to the submarine base and us not having the resources to complete the extractor thing on it because we'd expended the resources over here on one that exploded mere seconds away from being completed... That was our downfall. I think that's going to go down to nothing, isn't it? Down to three energy. Down, oh, up to 12. <laughs> we're, we're clinging up fingernails, this is. We're 26. This is clinging on. 
that needs to go back up a bit. Uh, when is wind in, what's that, one, two, three, four, five, in about a week's time, in about a week's time, we're going to have bad wind again, everybody, but there we go. And we're down to about half, half the energy, uh, sorry, half the time we need to complete this goal here to build two more gas extractors. Oh, a new task. Wonderful. Let's focus on metal production. No, let's not. Let's focus on not being dead. Okay, hang on. Can we build the signal tower? Yes, we can. Um, yeah, maybe we just build one of those. Just, just get that in. Get that in wherever you can put it, please. <laughs> and let's hope it doesn't get blown up. We're going to need one of those. Um, and... Maybe take... Hey, is there anybody in the medical thing? There's still quite a lot of patients in there. Um, okay. We're just going to have to sort of kick back and hope that that thing is able to remain stable. Okay, we, we've, we've managed to scrape by. That's very impressive. One person now hospitalised. That one's exploded. If you could get better, Bridget... Oh, look at this. There's people. There's people available to do the jobs. Okay, right. They can complete that. They can build the submarine thing. Right, this is fine. This is fine. Cabordia is back on, everybody. <laughs> Look at that. We've got we've got loads of energy. Okay, so the wind was the problem. Now the wind has gone away. We might be able to muddle through, although we are significantly down on people. The submarine is now sort of started its time meter thing again. And over here, have we got what we need? Have we got another 15 metal? Um, no, we have no metal at all. Okay, right. There's plenty of metal in that car. Somebody go and grab metal from that car, please. And then we've got, what, three people left. So we need some more gears to complete this goal over here to get the gas extractor things in. So could we get some more gears from... We must have got gears from somewhere else. Is it from there? Ah, from there, yeah. So two people on that. And that leaves one person to go and do some building stuff. Wonderful. Right. Can we see any more cracks that might have opened up in the ground that we can use for power? Um... There's one all the way down there. But we're not going to have the gears ready by that point, I don't think. We need... Hang on, remind me. What was it again? Oh, we haven't got the plastic either. <laughs> okay. We need 30 gears and 25 plastic. And we've got nowhere near enough gears and nowhere near enough plastic. Wonderful. Okay, we've completed one of the goals. We've gathered coal, I think it was. So we've prepared for the winds, apparently. I find that unlikely, but okay, so people seem happy. Got some fish, got some metal, got some plastic. That's quite important. So we're nearly ready to build one more gas extractor thingamajig because we nearly have the right amount of gears. We've got 30 plastic, so we're going to need to get some more plastic anyway. However, We've only got 2.3 days left. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a thing just hit. Right. We need gears. We need gears really, really right now. Um, if we could all just go and grab some gears from somewhere else, that would be aces. More gears, please. Because there's a crack appeared down here right next to our house. Uh, that house is in the danger zone, is it? Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, yeah, we need to build a thing on that. Right, we can do it right now. Just put it there. I don't care which way round it's right. And now we've got no buildy people. So let's stop you all doing gathering. And can you all go and build this? Because otherwise it's going to explode. And that would generally be a bad thing. So if we can just build this really urgently, that'd be great. And also, yeah, we could work on the tower thing as well. That would be useful. I would also like to see a submarine come by. Um, one, uh, one day. So the submarine is going to arrive before the next windy time arrives. That's quite good. Please build this. Pro construction priority is tip top. Do this now because it's going to explode. Priority, please. Please do this. I think what this game needs is a move time on really, really incredibly super quickly button. Because time is ticking over okay right now. We're on day 19. But, you know, it's sort of a bit, I want time to move on quicker than this. Because, you know, that's taken ages to build. Oh, hang on. The signal tower is in. Hang on a second. Let's make sure that goes in as well. Um, yeah, that's going to get done before it explodes. But yeah, I think you could just do with a, yeah, a time moving on a little bit quicker would be handy. 1.2 days to build another gas extractor. And we need a heck of a lot of plastic and a load of gears. Do you know what? It's worth a go, isn't it? Let's get three people on gears, three people on plastic. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can get enough resources. We've got, yeah, down to a day. I don't think we're going to do it. 
I think we're going to fail that goal there. And people are going to be sad. What's that? Focus on stone production. Okay. <laughs> Stop giving us tasks. Stop it, please. Um, and then we need to switch that bad boy on because that's going to generate all sorts of exciting things, I imagine. But let's see if we can survive the wind first. Oh, no. Hang on. Do you know what we need to do? We're not going to get those done in time, are we? We're not going to get the plastic and the gears done in no time. In not even one day. That's not going to happen. I think over here, we get lots of people gathering coal. Coal is important now. And then, I know, you can go and gather some metal. Why not, eh? Because if the winds are coming in 0.4 days, we want to make sure we've got lots of coal because that thing's going to be overworked. And submarine. Hello, submarine. How does this work? Oh, <laughs> hello. Hello. Oh, we've got some new people. <gasps> It, it just it just pops up. Some new people ping out of it and they come and join us. Okay, so we're welcoming uh, Akar, Anelli, Imani, and Logan. Okay, right. Can we have one of you working in the signal tower? Imani the adult, you can go and jab buttons over there. That's all very good. Um, have we got enough housing? Yes. Just. We need to maybe build another house. Might be quite useful. It needs 20 metal. That we don't have okay wonderful everything is fine it's all good um and yeah we haven't got enough to build another thing in my bob is there even another crack available um i don't think there is i don't think there's a crack that we could use to sort of do anything with no there's no cracks around okay never mind that's fine we can't complete that goal well, there's one literally appear just there <laughs> 0.3 days to build now. We haven't got the resources. We're not going to get the resources. Right, let's see if we can get through the wind. Can we get through this and not die? I would advise not standing outside, folks. Go inside. <laughs> Don't stand out in the wind. You're going to get ill and you know, blown about a bit and buffeted. Please go indoors. Yeah, we found the thing. It's fine. We're not very good at this, all right? <laughs> So, okay, right. Let's wait half a day for the wind to clear off. Okay, the wind is going away. And there we go. The wind has vanished. That's quite good. We do have four sick people. So, yeah, our tear has got his work cut out. But, oh, no, hang on. There's five patients, but four sick people. Now, three sick people, but five patients. Okay, they're hospitalized. So, they're just kind of slowly recovering, I think. Right, what I think we might do is then, firstly, let's get everybody back out of the hospital. And then, look, we have got spare people now, which is very exciting. We've got, I mean, yeah, we need to get them all back out of the hospital first because our numbers are a bit wonkaloids. But we've got four people right now hanging around. So we need a person back in the water purifier and we need a person out on the fishing dock because we have to get water and we have to have food. Um, possibly somebody working in the canteen as well. That would be useful. And then let's get our five people out of hospital. And that's going to up our workforce by another five people. And then we can go and do some other bits and bobs. And there's something that we haven't really looked at yet that I think we should look at. So, uh, yeah, let's just make sure that they're all out of hospital first. OK, there we go. Everybody is back and they're healthy and it's all looking very good. So we've got six available people to go and do some stuff, which is very good. So we've got one person in the water purifier, one person in the canteen, one person in the fishing dock. And then we have one person over in the signal tower. Whatever that's doing, I'm not entirely sure. It's doing... Oh, hang on. Discovering new locations. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on. Is that... Ah, signal tower. <gasps> There's a special screen. Okay. Do we need to do that right now? I possibly don't think so. So let's take you out of there. I think maybe surviving might be a little bit more important right now. Just, you know, get the basics in. So I think we need to put somebody back in the research centre... That could be quite handy. We do need a couple of people grabbing some coal. Because as good as that is, we are going to burn through some coal in a bit. So let's get two people grabbing coal in the coal mine. And then we've got four people left over. So I think we go and scavenge a few bits and bobs. I mean, it's telling us to unlock metal processing and all this kind of bits and bobs down here. We might not complete those goals. We might not get that done. But how about, what are we low on? What? We're low on everything. We're low on gears and we're low on plastic. Okay, so that's got loads of gears in. So two people go and work over there. And then 
we, we'll get some plastic later. We'll grab some gears first. We want to leave one person to do some building, to just sort of poodle about the place. But there is something that we haven't looked at yet, and that's over here, because look, our lovely once green tree is now all kind of sad and twiggy and bare, and that's not very good. That tree is doing nothing. It's doing nothing at all, but when a tree's vitality reaches 80%, it generates a tree dome and acts as a natural oxygen center. I want a tree dome, please. So absolutely, we're having one person assigned to tree. There we go. So McKinley is now a tree person, which is wonderful. Okay, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, Bridget, again, admiring the art is good. But look, there is whatever you were called, McKinley watering the tree. Okay, I noticed that there is going to be a drought in five days time or whatever. Why can't it just be normal? Why is the post-apocalyptic world so tricky? Oh, hang on a minute, hang on, we now have a new crisis. A drought is coming up in three days. Okay, so buildings by the lakes and rivers don't work during a drought. And you go, yeah, okay, that's fine. We have to do something about the drought. A drought is coming. Um, we can't catch fish, we can't collect water. Let's focus on fish and water production. And right now, we have hardly any water at all. So, okay, that's fine. I think possibly we bring the people out of the coal mine and we put them into the water purifier and then possibly who else could we remove from somewhere else? Um, I mean, fish, food is okay. Food, I mean, it's not brilliant, but it's okay. It will do. We could, we could stop the scavengers. We'll put one person back into there and then over here, can we get you scavenging canned fish? So, Ureg who grew up as a child, they're now grown up so they can work. You go and do that, please. We do have one builder person not doing anything, though. We might as well get you also grabbing some food. Just go and do that, please. How is the tree? It's on 3% vitality, oh dear, and a drought is coming in about three days, and we desperately need lots of water, because for two entire days, we can't get water from our little pond over there. Oh dear. Ah, right, okay, botherations. This could be a bit of a problem. So that gas generator thing there is going to stop working in 0.3 days time because that gas thing is going to be exhausted. The kind of crack in the ground is going to heal itself up and that will just stop working, I imagine. I mean, do we just sort of take them apart? Do they just stop working? I don't really know. Let's have a look. Is that the first one we did? I'm not entirely sure. So that's going to stop. So that's going to go. Oh, no energy left. Oh, okay. What do we do? Dismantle it. Oh, we get some stuff back. We get gears and plastic back. That could be useful to put on other cracks. Oh, and it just magically evaporates. Okay, that's quite useful. That one over here. Is there another one? That's also going to stop working. Um, okay, that's in 2.1 days. We haven't got any builders, though, because we're frantically trying to grab water. <laughs> this is not going to go well. Oh, no. I just thought... We're putting water onto the tree. Maybe we shouldn't be doing anything with tree, but I want the vitality of tree to go up so I can see an exciting uh, a tree dome. I want to know what a tree dome looks like, but possibly we shouldn't be investing in tree right now because, yeah, we're, we're using our water on that. And I think our people would like to drink the water more than having a lovely tree dome. As much as I want to see a tree dome, sorry tree. We'll come back to you in a bit, okay? When the heat wave's gone, if we survive through it, we'll come back and put some water on you and make you leafy and green again. Okay, we've failed the metal production goal thing. That's okay, it's not too much of a bother, that's fine. Um, okay, we'll dismantle that gas extractor because it's got nothing left. We should have some resources back to build another one of these. The other thing is where? That's got one day left. I'm a little bit concerned that that will explode. I'm a bit concerned that we won't get that built and whoever goes over there to build it will die. So I think maybe we'll wait for a new one to pop up. I think that's what we possibly should do. But okay, everyone's busy and we have a drought coming in 0.4 days. Oh, and there's a little bit of time and then we have some wind again. Oh, two days of wind. Marvellous. I mean, yeah, I'm talking about the wind. That's if we survive the heat wave, which I suspect we might not do. But I mean, here we go. 0.2 days until impending heat death so here we go buildings uh, by the lakes and rivers don't work during a drought wonderful because the river just dries up somehow um okay right here we go drought is happening oh, that's quite nice it's got like a sort of uh, a drought sort of ground thing okay fish and water production didn't work we didn't get enough fish oh 
Oh, I see. The river goes to a trickle, and the river, the, the pond is just a little tiny pond. <laughs> We've got nowhere near enough water. Ah, oh, dearie me. That's going to explode. That's all fine. Um, Right, okay. We have got some research points, though. Can, can we research anything? No, we can't research anything. Never mind. Oh, this is wonderful. We have a new task to build a signal tower. We've already done that, so okay, we'll do that. Build research centre. Two? Why do we need two research centres, game? We don't need two. And also we need to gather canned fish. We're on that. That's okay. We can do that. The reward is bricks, canned fish, water, and ten confidence points. Okay, how do we build um, another research centre? We've got the resources to do so. We're going to build another one, even though I can, don't feel we need to, but the game is telling us to, so we're going to do it because we're being told to. Let's put it there. That's got no energy left. We'll just dismantle that. Oh, our power's going to come tumbling down soon. Um, okay, any more crack things that we can use? Not that I can see, unfortunately. Oh, there's one there. There's one there. Do you know what? We'll have that. Absolutely. Boop. Somebody go over and build that. Oh, we've got no builders. Um, okay. Nobody scavenge anything anymore. We'll go and get the canned fish in a second. Can we please do some building? Because that signal tower goal over here is going to really get... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Right. A crack thing has appeared right next to our research buildings. And if we don't seal it up, they're going to be destroyed. Oh, this is this is brilliant. This is wonderful. Um, okay, seal that one up first. Let's please somebody, just mega construction, urgent priority, please get that done. Really important job number one. Okay, everybody is over here, I think. And there we go, right, that one is done. That is brilliant. Can we build another one? We've got the gears, we need plastic. Okay, everybody who can grab plastic, Please go and grab some plastic, really, really urgently. We've made it through the drought, and look, it's raining, glorious, glorious rain. Okay, what we'll do is, we'll leave the five people in, the four people in there, sorry, for now, just to top that up a bit, I think, just to make sure that we do get some good water out of it. And then when our water's looking a little bit healthier, we'll then just, you know, take them back out of there and distribute them somewhere else. But yeah, now our job has to be sorting that out. How much have we got? We've got 24 plastic. We need one lot of plastic. Does somebody have a drink out of a plastic bottle and we'll use that, please? Um, because, yeah, that's got to be sealed up really urgently. Um, is, is it finished? Why haven't we finished this? Uh, oh, because they're, ah, everybody is scavenging. Yeah, which is understandable. That's absolutely fine. Uh, right, we're on 39. Okay, hang on. Stop scavenging, please. No more of that. We need to build a thing on the thing. Hang on a minute. Let's build a thing on the thing. Uh, rotate it round. Let's have a thing there. Mega super urgent. Please build this in the next 0.8 days or we're going to lose our research centres. And that would be, that would be awful because that would destroy that goal. That would destroy confidence and it would just be horribly, horribly bad. Um, okay, gears are in. Plastic can go in. Everybody, please build it. Look at it. It's going in. It's going in. Everyone's hitting it with hammers. Are we safe? Boom. Yes, we are. Phew. Right, okay. Now you lot can go over here and grab some canned fish to complete that goal down there and also get us some more food, which is never a bad thing. And we've completed the thing. We've got a big load of water now. Again, we're just going to let that top up a bit more, I think. We're just going to get a little bit more water because... Yeah, that's still not looking overly healthy, is it? So there we go. We'll just sort of grab some more stuff. Don't care about stones. People are going to be really grumpy with us over here. People are going to be very sad, but never mind. And currently come to the end of our list of tasks. Okay, that's quite good. Although in, what is that? One, two, three, four days time, we're going to have three days of wind. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, that's just going to be nightmarish and terrible, isn't it? Um, okay. I mean, do we need to get any more sort of crack thingamabob sorted? There's one over there, but I don't think we necessarily have any resources to build it. Um, okay, right. Three days of wind is going to be terrible. I suspect everybody might be dead by the third day, but you know what? We'll see what we can do. We'll see if we can muddle through to the end of that at least. Now, a crack has opened up just there, but I think we'll be okay. I don't think that's going to blow anything up because a little sign hasn't appeared over the nearby buildings saying they're in danger. So I think that should be okay. It would be good if we could harness the power of it, but I don't think we can. We haven't got the gears and we haven't got the plastic. We're quite close with gears and we're okay with the plastic. 
Now, if we complete that goal, if we gather some coal, we might possibly be okay. But uh, there we go. That's quite handy. So now, yeah, we've got the plastic. We need a couple more gears. Okay, how about then? Hang on. Take canned fish out of there. And yeah, you two can just go and grab some more gears from that wreck car over there. And that might help out a bit. And now we've got three homeless people. Oh, some people joined. Yeah, we had a submarine visitor. Okay, hang on a minute. Let's build you a house. Let's build you a nice house. Um, I'm, I don't know. Over here, look. You can live next to the dumpster trash, uh, trash bin thingamajig. There you go. Somebody go and build that, please. And then people can live in a lovely house. And we can build another gas extractor. So let's pop one of those onto there. And there we go. Hopefully we can get that done in 1.2 days time. Hang on. Make that really urgent to complete, please. So get on that really soon. That'll be more power for when the wind comes in 0.6 days. And we have a new task. Let's build a cafe. Really? <laughs> Of all the things, 140 science points to get that done. Okay, um, we've got nine days to build a cafe. I suspect maybe it might not work because in three and a bit days time, we're all going to be quite dead. But it's fine, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a very good go. We have got a lot of people. Hang on, can we have another medic to help out a bit? That could be quite useful. We'll have Max out. And I put two more people in the coal mine just to maybe make sure that we don't run out of... Uh, run out of coal uh, and then I don't know do we want somebody else getting some fish and oh, no, hang on water's looking low again put another couple of people into there and one more person grabbing some food is not a bad thing oh then we're gonna have snow and then we're gonna have frost <laughs> my goodness me wow the weather is completely bonkaloids around here but okay right here comes the wind, here comes ill people, here comes a lot of dead people, I imagine. But, uh, yep, yeah, okay, do you know what, though? It's windy, everybody. Go inside and don't stare at the lovely star. As pretty as it is, please stay alive. Okay, we have eight ill people, seven ill people. Hang on, has somebody died? Um, hang on, yeah, people are becoming sick. Uh, hang on, wind started. Okay, so, energy's looking okay. Energy is looking fine. We're okay for that. It's now just dealing with the ill people. However... We only have one medical post. So all these other people are getting ill because we only have one medical post. They haven't got anywhere to go. Oh, and a new crack is oozing. Uh, okay, it's over there. Good. We don't have to care about that. Can we build another medical post? <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit after the fact, isn't it, really? But hang on a minute. Where is it? Community medical post. We can build another one. I mean, there looks like a really good spot. If there's anybody left, can we please do that? Let's take out the four gatherers for now. Just somebody go and build a medical post and we can put ill people into it because, um, yeah, this is going to be bad. I mean, yeah, they're, build they're building it already. They've got the resource. Oh, hang on. Somebody, <laughs> I think somebody died. Bridget died of illness. Oh, dear. Right. OK, I think Bridget got blown away by the wind. OK, so we've got quite a lot of sick people. Um, OK, that's in. Can we have a couple of people working in there? Oh, this is this is terrible. And it's not even over yet. It's only halfway through. <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. At least we have another medical post in and some more medical people looking after everybody. Now, maybe everybody could just, you know, not die. At least somebody's watering the tree. I mean, there might be a terrible storm overhead and terrible gases are pouring out everywhere and poisoning people and people are dying. But at least somebody's watering our lovely tree up to 18% vitality now, which has got to be a good thing. Um, oh, no. A crack has appeared over here. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, yeah, and we haven't got any workers assigned. Um, hang on, why? Why have we got no workers assigned? Hang on, why not? Grab a load of water pits. Why are there no workers assigned to anything? We didn't unassign them. When they are ill, do they unassign from their existing jobs? Oh, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Hang on, reduce the workforce over there. Reduce the workforce over there. We might be able to muddle through with this. Um, oh no, nobody's looking after tree. Somebody go and look after tree. Tree is important. We have to go and look after tree. The wind is going to end in 0.3 days. That thing isn't going to damage anything, I don't think, which is quite good. So we can get away with ignoring that for now. I think we did a pretty good job there. We've got 10 people hanging around now. So when they come out of the hospital, they don't reassign to their previous jobs. I think that's what I'm getting from that. Okay, 
Right, let's reassign some people to various places. Yeah, look, there were a lot of people in the coal mine, and now they're not. So let's reassign some people to where they should be. Okay, so we've survived the winds, which is really good. However, we might possibly die of thirst now because we don't seem to be generating enough water. Hang on, it's going down to one. I thought we put lots of people into the water thing. Um, hang on a minute. Hang on. I thought we had lots of people in there, but clearly we don't. Uh, maybe take somebody out of there, somebody out of research, put a couple more people into the water purifier, because we do need some more water. That'd be quite bad. And how's the tree looking? It's on 21%. How long is this going to take? Can we please do this job significantly quicker? Because I really want to see what happens when we get a tree dome. But I suspect maybe we might not be able to do that because soon it's going to snow, then it's going to be frosty. And I imagine the water's not going to do anything when it's frosty. So we might not get to see what a tree dome looks like. Do you know what? With that terrible realisation, I think we will wrap things up for now with our look at oxygen first breath. I think we've had a very good look at the game to see what it's all about and how it works and maybe how not to play it. Because I think maybe we didn't play it in the best, you know, the best, most optimal way, as we often don't in the Geekuba. But yeah, we've had a good look at it and I think, yeah, we'll wrap things up with it for now. And I quite like this. It is very frostpunky, as we kind of touched upon earlier. It's a bit sort of juggling the resources you have, and one moment you need a bit of this, and the next minute you need a bit of that. So you need to kind of switch people around and take people out of one workplace, put them into another. And then, of course, you have the random things popping up to cause problems, like the cracks appearing and blowing up and damaging things and killing people. You've got the weather to fight against. You've got the oxygen to keep going. You've got houses to build and people to feed and all that kind of stuff. You know, it works well. I think it works well. I'd love there to be another kind of level of zoom. I just really want to go a tiny bit closer to look at the buildings and such like. And then, yeah, they'll flesh it out a bit. They'll add some event type things, I imagine, a bit sort of like Frostpunk again. So things will pop up saying, how do you want to handle this particular situation? I like the scavenging. I like the relatively simple way that's done. It's not complicated. You've got a pool of people and you assign them to various places. The tech tree looks pretty comprehensive. There's a lot going on there as well. So I think overall, it's a really good game. I think as this is developed and sort of you know, fleshed out further and the app bits on, I think this could be very good indeed. It's certainly one to watch. And I think when Oxygen comes back into sort of you know, full access or early access or whatever, which I think was in... Q1 2023, so sort of, yeah, the first half of next year, shall we conservatively say, then I think, yeah, we'll pop back to it and see how we do. How is the tree doing, by the way? Up to 22%. So yeah, we'll have to imagine what a, um, what a tree dome looks like. I imagine it looks amazing, but there we go. We're not going to see one this time around. Oh, and we've run out of water. A perfect time to finish things up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. I really hope I don't have to send children down into coal mines or whatever because I would feel like a terrible person. Hello, robot, and I shall call you Alan. Still some homeless people, still hungry people, still sick people. Okay, if you try and reach London, you will end up frosty and dead. Great big human lollipop.